Today we are dropping in watching four attack strategies at Town Hall 10 that assisted in bringing a clan to victory in the AWL in Humane Division. So guys, let's go check it out. <laughs> up fam welcome to roar's channel where today we're going to be checking out the awl finalist and watching just how final boss right there took in the victory against adults clash 2 great stuff all the way around this is final boss's second of his victory in awl as they have won two seasons in a row beautiful beautiful stuff but what you guys are probably here to see is just how they got it done at that town hall 10 level so we're going to be showing you four attack strategies at town hall 10 watching how they brought in the victory now guys before we jump into it don't forget hit the sub button show a little up to the channel do all those things as youtubers absolutely appreciate it like like comment all those things and then let's jump out and check out these attacks all right so here it is guys we're going to be checking out the first attack strategy looking at the go bow hogs guys go bow hogs is really strong here and it does a lot of work especially if you know how to break down a base which is what we're going to do here today number 28 attack me is going in on number 22 chip chop we're looking at the uh adults clash to see how what they brought in guys then we'll jump over to the victors and watch what they did at town hall 10 but first guys so we're going to be coming in over here on this side and what you guys can see right here is they're going to be rolling through going for not only the cc but also the queen right there and on, and on top of it they're going to be picking off this infernal tower with their kill squad now let's watch how he gets it done we're going to be pushing in the kill squad like i said at that northeast side of the base really pulling down a, a few key um trash buildings ensuring the funnel is created all too easy Drill, dropping in our golems in the golems are there to assist with the funnel remember like I said in the last video if you guys are keeping up um, how you got to have those um, you've got to be able to funnel your troops into a base that is probably one of the most important parts of any attack strategy is making sure you get down those key um, defenses for the rest of the attack the main kill the main kill squad such as the hogs are able to roll through and pick off um, what they need to to finish off this attack so you have the queen coming in guys he's dropping the poison on the cc troops rolling towards the infernal tower you guys can see it happen right here um you guys see the ice column is still up but that guy that guy right there don't worry about him he's not going to be much of an issue um dropping in the hogs now you guys can see the hogs rolling through a little premature if you ask me because check it out we still have the queen alive scary stuff but out of the wall wrecker pops a, a bunch of valks they take down the infernal tower grab that queen right there and now you guys can see it hogs are home alone rolling through this base got a lot to clear actually uh, but as i say with every single video if you guys are keeping up like i said before heal placement heal placement is everything you can pull off a good um hog strategy as long as you get those heals right and you guys can see him just rolling through plenty of hogs still on the board um and we got plenty of cleanup troops too guys i'll zoom out a little bit you guys can see the cleanup troop up there on the north i say plenty it's one wizard all right so don't judge me um there you guys see it though hogs are still pushing through plenty of hogs really i mean like, like you know the wizard tower is there whatever guys plenty of hogs they're just gonna maul through all the rest of these defenses um and there you guys go three more defenses and actually still an infernal tower which can be very dangerous and and really take down hogs pretty quickly but because there was so many of them not going to be an issue at all there it is guys all the defenses are clear we'll speed this one up as he takes the cleaning um to the next level and you guys can see this one get a beautiful triple great stuff here from attack me bring it in for adults clash 2 guys the composition is going to be sitting right there in front of you and let's move on to the next attack all right fam so the next attack strategy is gonna be of course witches guys it's gonna be the golem um bowler witch strategy that is wicked at town hall 10 mainly because if you think about it um they have those next level witches that really destroy a base here let's start it up we'll see just how it gets done it's pretty easy actually if you guys want to call it anything maybe you guys can compare it to the town hall nine witch slap which is kind of the same um scenario here you guys have the golems in front of the witches um golems are tanking making sure they're able to push their way through we got the witches down um wall wrecker is down now moving in towards that um the the town hall there and you guys see now wall wrecker is kind of home alone there with a couple uh, with a couple witches behind him um but you guys 
guys can see, the majority of this kill squad goes right there in the center. And really, we got to get down those Infernal Towers, making sure that Wallwrecker has enough life to push his way through. He does use his freeze on it. Smart move there, as it does target um, some key offensive troops that we need to stay alive. Poison goes down on the Hound with a Loon popping out. Nothing going to destroy too much. You guys can see all the leftover troops as this... Um, attack comes to an end. This is really a, t a strong attack strategy. Like I said, with those extra level witches, they destroy bases. Good placement on the jump. You guys can notice that with that jump placement, he's able to pick off the rest of the defenses. Bowlers are still up as the king's doing what he's supposed to, um, tanking for all the rest of the troops behind him. Queen has still her ability, max health, and guys, this is a destroyed base. Beautiful stuff right here. Witches are still all the way around the base. Check out up there on the north. Golem's doing exactly what they're supposed to. Keeping those witches alive. Allowing them to just destroy every defense and trash building they come encounter with. Um, you guys can see this one coming to an end. Now the uh, queen, well I say, she was attached to. Got a little life down, but nothing that will stop this attack from being a triple. Beautiful stuff here. Beautiful stuff indeed. You guys can see it. Queen's going to be popping her ability here very soon. If she even needs it. Does she even need it? He might just do it for um, the sense of getting through a wall. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so Queen Ability pops right there, pushing through the wall. And now, guys, all we have left is that um, Wizard Tower, which we all know, guys, it stands no chance against those. Um, that mean witch, guys. That witch is ridiculously strong, so um, nothing's going to stop this attack from being a beautiful triple. There you guys have it, man. Pushing through a couple more walls. We'll speed this one up, and there is the triple the last triple we'll be seeing from adults clash 2 the composition sits in front of you guys and let's go check out the next one all right fam so here it is we're watching the victors pull in the triples from johnny clash bringing in the third attack strategy that is wicked at Town Hall 10. It's gonna be the Laloon attack, guys, with a couple cleanup troops there, and you guys are gonna be watching him get this one done, and he has plenty of troops at the very end, so I love it. Now, he's gonna be rolling through at this compartment, pulling you, the, the key defenses to get down in, or, in order to ensure the uh, Laloon portion is successful is gonna be that queen right there and the CC, but he realizes how is he gonna get through that wall, right? The question is, how are you gonna get through that wall? Well, he brings that Stone Slammer. Stone Slammer is gonna open up that wall by attaching to those defenses you guys can see it happen king goes down slammer rolls through dropping in a couple cleanup troops there on the north and the queen comes behind him baby dragons there to the left again all about that funnel stone slammer you guys can see right there opening up mad amounts of um, the walls right there rolling in towards the queen and the baby dragon to include the ice golem guys out of the cc you guys can see it all happening you're going to be get, grabbing the infernal tower and the queen went down already this is an extremely successful kill squad we'll roll out because very shortly you guys will watch this loudly portion roll through and smash this base johnny cash right here for a beautiful attack strategy we're going to be seeing them start up there on the north side as the queen finishes off the ice golem, which she will. She will finish off the ice golem. Got her, got her ability right there, popping it, pushing maybe that uh, cannon down, but not much more she'll be able to grab afterwards. So... Here it is. We have a heal. We have one freeze. We have six haste. Now, Jin comes these mean loons. Down goes a hound, creating that tanking for those loons. Drops a haste to push those loons indeed forward. In comes another hound. I love the loon placement here. It's absolutely important to make sure all your loons funnel in the direction you need them to. Pushing in towards the infernal tower. You guys can see it all happening here with one heal and still three more haste to get this one done. Down pops the last hound but he did not need that hound guys he's gonna be pushing in a beautiful haste there and i love how he notices those back in wizard tower saving his heal for that splash damage defenses to make this one a success here watch how many loons here watch how many loons he ends up with at the very end of this attack it's incredibly um strong and i highly recommend i highly recommend this be an attack all of you learn down goes a all these pups and minions for cleanup using a swag spell as everything there is cleaned up on this base. We'll speed this one up. Give this... <laughs> congrats, Jimmy Clash, on a beautiful triple. Really good good stuff there. Composition sits right in front of you guys. Great stuff all the way around. Push to the very last attack strategy. All right, fam. So the last attack strategy I have for you guys today is going to be 
of course, the drag bat attack. Extremely strong. I can't even emphasize it as mu uh, on much of these. These attacks right here I'm showing you are seriously all you need to know to be a successful Town Hall 10. Um, so guys, check it out. We have the uh, dragons up there on the northeast side of the space. They're going to be moving their way up or down towards that southwest side. But I'll tell you, you guys notice that infernal tower here. Um, it is obviously a single perfect placement right there for a... Um, a, a large amount of bath spells to push down that compartment. Moving in, I don't even see a... Where are the sweepers, guys? Nothing pushing these dragons back here. And so, I mean, you guys will notice just these dragons get it done. Okay, there is our sweeper. Good placement on the rage. Noticing he's grabbing a ton of his troops right there as they push in towards the CC troops, um, which will eventually go down with ease. Dragons take down CC troops like they are literally sitting still. And so, you guys notice now, rage comes in, drops the freeze, in comes the bat spells up against the only defense that really stands a chance at the field these bats and they took the, the the wizard tower down down goes that entire compartment guys with plenty of bat spells to finish this one off we still have a wall wrecker which has oh i was ready to say very little life but there you go out pops the loons the dragon is attached to the queen and uh guys this is another beautiful triple still a couple more bats there hanging on for dear life over here on the north side there they go taking down the cannon and it appears as if they're going to go for the tesla now next now you guys can see it right there. Nothing more to finish off this attack. Beautiful triple from Nitten. Number 30 in on Thor from the Adult Clash 2. Great stuff all the way around, guys. And again, there is the composition that sits in front of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Great stuff to Final Boss for pulling in the victory in the AWL Finals in Humane Division against the Adult Clash 2, which still did a great job pushing their way towards the finals at the very end of the day. Great stuff all the way around to both teams. Guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Roar is most definitely out. And as always, stay classy.